think a true regression therapist has done a lot of their own, their own work, their own healing. Um, we train people. We provide them with tools, with techniques, methods. Uh, but it takes more than that. I think um, you can learn to do these things. Most anyone can learn to do it. Uh, but to really be effective, successful, um, and appropriate with it, uh, you need to have done your own work as well. Not to say that it's all finished, but to really know the process, to really use it effectively with another person, to teach it and use it, you have to have done some of it yourself too. A regression therapist for me is a person that uh, knows uh, himself or herself or is this wishing to do this, to know himself, herself deeply and uh, understand life from inside. And so it's a person with some kind of uh, being human, very human, feeling human. Not feeling superior, not feeling inferior, but it's just human. Because regression therapy is to be human, to be connected with the, each other. Because uh, we can uh, guide our clients uh, during the regression therapy sessions uh, to the places we know in ourselves. So the best we know ourselves, our unconscious, our memories, uh, our decisions, the best I can guide a client. We have the ability to very quickly get past the, the story, the stuff that goes on in what I call the merry-go-round of the mind, and get into the deeper um, survival strategies and memories that live in the subconscious mind and in the body and actually in the soul. Um, so we're not spending years digging around or listening to details, for instance, but really getting to where the energy is stuck or blocked, where the memories um, originate, and finding a solution to release those or reframe those or um, do some healing around them. Um, it's really not dealing with the uh, conscious rational, cognitive mind. I think that's our greatest challenge is to get past that and find where the memories live in the body or in the deeper mind um, and ultimately in the soul. Work with those and then and bring healing for the individual. They need to have a big heart, <laughs> a big open heart to receive all information and to be always open to anything that happens and uh, to, to learn uh, to love anything and to be open to all possibilities. I think that a really good regression therapist um, has to be pretty fearless and also very sensitive. It's an unusual, unusual combination of fearlessness and sensitivity. I talk about being gently persistent. Um, in conducting a session, you don't want to rescue too soon to try to fix it or patch it up. You have to have the courage for your client to be with them as the memories, often painful ones, come and be able to hold the space, remain grounded, stay strong for them, and help them through it. Not pushing them too fast, not running away from it or ignoring it, which is often our tendency as a healer or a compassionate person. So it's an interesting balance, I think, between um, being well fearless in the moment and very sensitive to what's happening in the person too. So that's, I think, one of the main qualities that's essential in a regression therapist that makes them well special. Yeah.